Good afternoon, good morning, good evening. Welcome to this live video. What are we doing in this video? Well, I am going to be arranging or attempting to arrange or doing some of the arrangement for my new song. So this is a follow on from the previous video. If you're watching on the replay, I'll link that up there and down in the description so that you can take a look. But what we're doing is I'm working on a song at the moment and I've written it. I've got the lyrics, I've got the guitar part written and now we're working on some of the arrangement. So the reason for this is that I did a, a songwriting video the other day and we got quite a long way in, but then a, but people were, were starting to give me suggestions. They were saying, hey, some horns would be good here, some strings would be good here. Um, how about a piano part here? How about a solo here? So that's what I want to do today. I'm going to jump in. I'm going to show you where I'm up to so far with this song, and then we're going to take a look at uh, what we're going to do next. So what we're going to add into this song. But uh, if you are new here and you don't know who I am or what we're doing here and why this is a weird angle that we have today, well, my name is Pete and this is Studio Live today. And my goal here is to help you create, record and release your best music. And I do that by doing it myself because the best way to learn and to teach is sometimes to do it yourself. So I'm working on a song at the moment. It's uh, an arrangement, as I said, guitar, vocal, piano, and now maybe other instruments. And what I've actually done, I've just downloaded the Ice Symphonic app as well. So uh, because the suggestions were to get some orchestral sounds in this track, we'll be playing around with that a little bit today. So I'm looking forward to diving in and doing it and getting started. So if you are here on the live stream, welcome and thank you for coming along. If you've got suggestions, comments, questions, anything as we go along, what I'll be doing, I'll be focusing on doing the, the song, but then I'll jump back into the chat every sort of five to 10 minutes or so. We'll check in, we'll see what suggestions we have, because I want this to be interactive for the folks that are here live. And if you are watching on the replay, don't worry, you haven't missed out because I want you to watch, listen, and then provide comments as well. So if there's things that you see that you like, that you don't like, that you think we should change, we can do that. So without any further ado, let's get started and start looking at this song. So let's just jump in and say a quick g'day to the folks that are here live. So hello to... Ah, uh, Storm Plays, hello, Dr. Bill Troy, Ian Skeggs, hello, Mr. Minot. Um, we've got, uh, yeah, Ian Skeggs already said, and do, 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 cool, Mike's Samson C01, yeah, John Imperi Ali, yeah, this is my Samson C01, and thank you, that's a good segue to remind me to remind you that all of the gear that I use here, if you're looking, uh, if you're looking to buy some new gear, you can actually head over to my gear guide at studiolivetoday.com slash gear, and that's where I list all the things that I'm using and will be using today, so the Samson C01 is the my mic of choice for live streaming, but at the moment, the keyboard that you just heard there... That I have down here is my micro, my Korg Micro Key 49. So this is what I will be using uh, in this particular stream and to uh, do the arrangement of this song. But you might be thinking, uh, am I just going to be looking at your face for the next uh, 30 to 60 minutes? Well, no. And this is how high tech I am here. I'm, I'm in the process of getting an HDMI capture card so I can get my SLR, so I can share my screen, my iPhone screen as well. But at the moment, it's going to be as, uh, as sophisticated as this. Here we go. There is our angle. <laughs> so the reason that I was on a bit of a strange angle is that I've got things set up here so that you and I can see most of what's going on here. So here is my iPad running GarageBand. Here is my track. If we go back to the track view, this is what we've got going on so far. So I've got this hooked up through my mixer. I've got my uh, Korg keyboard here, which is now no longer playing because I'm out of my piano. But when we go back to my piano, I can, uh, I can play there and I've even got my sustain pedal plugged in down below so we are good to go here we've got the setup that we need and uh yeah i'm, I'm actually really liking the korg micro key you might be thinking look pete you've got these big fat fingers and then you're playing this tiny little tiny little keyboard but it's actually surprisingly good and um, and the, the other beauty part of this stream is you won't have to see my face for <laughs> for the rest of the stream uh, but i did super want to come in and say hello to start with all right you can tell i'm excited because i talk fast when i get excited so i'm going to slow things down and we're going to go and take a look so if you missed the first video, what we're working on here is this song, which is called Wasting My Time. Uh, you can see here the arrangement so far. I've just got my drum track at the top here, which is just sort of a placeholder drum that I'm using kind of as my metronome. Uh, same with my guitar. I've got some scratch guitar that I've recorded there. I've got my piano part, which I've added since uh, I did the last video. I've got a bass part here, and I've also recorded some scratch vocals. Oh, oh. Scratch, scratch vocals, vocals, as you can hear. 
it brought the monitoring on. Scratch vocals there and some backing vocals. So none of this is by any means finished, but we are getting there. So why don't you and I take a bit of a listen to maybe just the opening sort of intro and the first verse of this to get a feel for what we've got in this song. And then we'll get on and I'll start showing you what we've done with some of these parts. Let's hit play. This is our intro, which is our eight bar intro, and then we come into our first verse. The smell of frustration, the sound of your voice. Piano's a bit loud there. Feeling I've been here. I've been here. You can hear coughing in the background in these tracks down here. If silence is golden. And then we why move into the pre-chorus and now the chorus section. Don't take all of my time. I don't have much left for you. I really don't like the piano part in this so part. I'll mute it. Take all of my time. I don't have much of it left for you. So that's where we are at at the moment. Now <sighs> As I said, a lot of this I've just sort of added in as we've gone along, and I'm not not married to a lot of it. The lyrics have all been written, and let me just bring those up here, because again, if you didn't catch the last video, you wouldn't have seen what we did. Again, you'll, I'll, I'll put it in the description so you can take a look, but this is what we actually did. And you'll notice here, the top section here, I've got ideas from viewers. So this is what folks told me that they wanted me to try out in this section, which is what we'll be having a bit of a go at. Um, so we've got... Here's our sort of sections, our chords, we've got our lead in, we've got intro, verse, pre-chorus, chorus, interlude, etc. right down to our outro, which is represented here by what we have, which you can't see because it's a tiny screen now, but what we have over here. And then we've got the lyrics here, which I've written. And again, as we go through, I'll put the lyrics in the description of this one too. I did in the last video, but if you have ideas around the lyrics or there's things that you think would work better, let me know as we go along because I've only recorded sort of some scratch vocals at this stage, but in pretty much the next 24 hours, that's why I'm doing these videos at a bit of a frantic pace right now. I'm going to be trying to complete as much of this song as I can because I want to get it done by the end of the month, mostly because it's uh, for a monthly songwriting group that I'm part of, the Song Spark group. So we need to get a move on with this one. So let me take you through what my decisions are so far of this arrangement. Now, the drums, I need some work on. One of the suggestions I had with the drums was to not have any drums in the opening section and bring the drums in for the now what was it it was to no drums at the start in verse one and bring in in the chorus or in verse two so that's that's a possibility the reason i've got them in here at the moment is that they're acting as my metronome but let's just uh let's just take a listen so we'll try this idea out first if we didn't have any drums in the intro it would sound like this i don't mind that actually this is where we might be adding some string pads. Something like that. Yeah, I don't mind not having any drums anywhere in this part. Yeah. <laughs> Gotta remove those coughs, that's gross. Why are you loud? Don't take yeah, how about the drums come in at that part? That's not bad. Let's just check what that would do with a transition. Now, what I do when I'm doing arrangements like this is if I'm experimenting, actually, the first thing I do when I'm experimenting is I go back to my songs and I make a duplicate copy. So I tap and hold on here and I'm going to go duplicate so that we can work on a new copy. Uh, so let's work on this one here now. So we know that we've got these changes backed up. Before we do anything crazy, we've got some changes. So we're going to tap here. We are going to tap a duplicate to duplicate out that drummer track. And this is where it's going to get difficult reaching over the top here. So sorry, let's bring my other hand over here. What I'll do, we'll zoom all the way in. Now, an easy way to select everything here, easy, uh, is to tap outside, drag across all of them. Oh, I've done something really weird there. Let's try that again. Undo, 
Undo is your friend when it comes to doing this. Let's try again. It's a lot easier to do this when you're not leaning over like this. Tap, 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 copy. Can I get my copy, please? No, let's try a bigger part. There we go. Copy this. Yeah, I didn't think this through too well, did I? Setting up like this. <laughs> we'll be all right. All right, tap and paste. That line up. It looks okay. <laughs> all right. So now we can play around with this one. So let's zoom in here. Now, where was it that we did want to remove these drums? Now, we'll take take these out here. So we'll delete that one. Nope, I had them all selected. We'll delete the start one here. Then we'll be able to select where we go from there. Delete. All right. So let's just find the point where we want to go without the drum. Oh, the sound of your voice Feeling up in here this is the first verse. I've been here before. If silence is golden, why are you loud? So yeah, it's right up to here. So we'll delete that one. Delete that bit of drum. And then let's just see what it would be like in this transition period. So we'll delete out all these. Highlight them, tap them, tap them again, delete them. And let's just come back. So we're here without the drums. Golden, why are you loud? Don't take yeah. all of my time. I don't so I can't remember who it was because I, I wrote down in my notes here some of the things that people said. Um, but yeah, it was it was Earthling or it was someone, Storm Plays, maybe it was you again, um, that was suggesting this uh, in the last video. No drums up to there is good. And you know what I think we probably need? And I'm going to put this in my notes here. So I'm going to, it's always important to take notes as you're arranging. Well, I find anyway. So I'm just going to go arrangement notes. I'm putting hair on my thing. Um, and that is, I think we just need like a hi-hat on the one, two, three, four, five, six. So I think we just need a, either like a rim or hi-hat drum at start. So we need some sort of percussion, I think, just to tick it along. Like a doom, 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 ch, doom. Like even, maybe not clicks or hand claps or something, but something in this section. But then I really like the drums coming in there. So there you go. There's decision number one. Now, let's have a look at these piano, because this is something that I've added since last time. And I want your opinion. So I'm going to show you what I did here and the logic behind it. And then you can let me know, what do I do with it? Does it stay? Does it go? How do we drive this? So let's just listen to just the piano part by itself. It's sounding like this. So I quite like that, and it's I sort of borrowed it from the autoplay that I had in that I had on here already. It's, so it's just doing an A minor arpeggio, then it's doing a variation here on the E minor. And yeah, and I think if I re-record it with like some more sustain. I think just that really balanced sound, it, it complements the arpeggiated guitars. But the problem is, when I hit the, the, the bit that's the, uh, the chorus part, so let's just find our chorus over here and play. So I don't mind that. And then it's this next bit that I need to work on because I don't like these chords. So it's this, it's the A minor, the E minor. D minor, down to the C, A minor, E minor, and then D. And you know what? You know what it sounds like? It sounds like the song changes. Yeah, so I can't play that very well, but yeah, you, you, it, I need it to sound less like that. And I, I don't know if we go with no piano there whatsoever, or is this where we bring in the piano pauses and we bring in those strings and brass. So hold on to that. Let me know what you think if you're here live. If you're on the replay, let me know in the comments what you think we need to do with that piano. Let's take a quick look at the bass here now. Now the bass is pretty simple, so it's probably not going to take a lot of time. I'm going to re-record this with a real bass guitar, but we've gone for a very simple bass line here. Let's play it along with the piano here at the start so you can hear it a bit better. Let's 
bring it back into the mix so that you can hear this now. The smell of frustration. One, two, three. The sound one, two, of your three, voice. One, two, three. One, two, three. So what the bass is doing it. here, it's doing kind of double duty. Yeah, it's got a little bit of the, the sort of the melody, like the bottom end of the melody to add that low end, but it's also doing the rhythm. So it's doing the one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one. So that's the, that's the basic rhythm of this whole whole song. It's going to be da, 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 like that. So that is what we've got in there for that. The uh, vocals, I sang these through and played this live in the last video. Um, so yeah, if you've got opinions on the vocals, as I said, you can check out the previous video and let me know what you think on those. But at the moment, I'm liking where the arrangement's going and I need to, in this video, which is what we're going to be doing in just a few minutes, is work on some strings and some brass and maybe some woodwinds. So I've recently, I think as I mentioned at the start, I've purchased the iSymphonic app. So what we're going to do, we're going to come in here, we're going to go audio unit extensions. Now, if you're new to GarageBand and you haven't used audio unit extensions, what you can basically do is use any third-party apps that support audio units, and you can actually bring those into your GarageBand project. Yes, it's as cool as it sounds, and we're going to do it here with iSymphonic. Now, I'm going to have to zoom around here to see what we've actually got in here. So I think we've got, yeah, so this is one of our orchestra string lead sounds we've got at the moment it's loading it in so these are really big samples like the whole pack here is like a couple of gigabytes i think and i've only got the base version so far so we need to wait for this to load in and then we'll actually be able to play these sounds using the keyboard here how are we doing 70 percent, 80 percent. we're getting there <laughs> yeah so this is where the having the ipad air 2 if you had an ipad pro it would be a little bit quicker and more responsive but So there's that really nice sound. So this is what we're going to be using to add some pads. So I'm thinking something like that. Now, a lot of these are very legato, so you can't sort of play fast tunes with them. So yeah, I need your advice on that as whether we should use this or maybe we use some of the built-in instruments for a bit of a melodic breakdown because uh, yeah, we've had suggestions of woodwind and strings and horns, which we may not have all of them that we can do here with iSymphonic. So we'll jump in and do that next. But for the time being, let's jump back over and say hello and see if there is any questions here or any comments that we have from the folks who are kind enough to be here live. Um, alrighty. So, do, 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 do. Uh, what are the, so I'm going up here. What did I miss? Not much. Uh, can't wait to hear some brass if you add them. Yeah. So there's a, a pretty cool brass sound. There's a trombone section. There's a whole brass section. I'm trying to, to trying to test it out. Um, uh, what have we got here? Where can I buy some inspiration from? <laughs> inspiration. Uh, yeah. Inspiration is priceless, which means you can't buy it. Um, no lyrics for the bridge, clarify. Uh, yeah, so there's there's no lyrics in the bridge section. It's an instrumental break, and that's where we might have a woodwind solo or something like that. Um, thinking some thinking some percussion, but no drums until the chorus. Yeah, I definitely think that, and slowly build up the drums. So just sort of, yeah, I, I like that idea too from Mr. Nimmo. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, do, 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 do. I've heard that to make your chorus sound huge, make what comes before it smaller. Yeah, definitely. Less is more sometimes for sure. So I realize you can't see my face here. Maybe I'll animate my hands here. Um, and what have we got here? I heard... Uh, do, 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 do. Uh, this is a damn good uh, collaboration of musicians working on a song. Absolutely. You could say that I'm cheating and I'm, I'm getting help and support from you, or you could say that it's a nice collaboration. Let's get a little bit of suspense going. Okay. <laughs> um, hello to Kenneth Briggs. Hello to Jesus Ramos uh, Valencia. Hello to you. And what have we got? Add some strong orchestral percussion in the chorus. Yeah, so that's what I want. And I need to find some samples that are like a like a build-up, like a riser that's like a timpani. Maybe we'll try some of that on our uh, sort of our world instrument. Maybe some of those Chinese drums might have something that we can use there. Let's go ahead and try some of this now. So if we jump back to our song, back to our track view of our song here. This is what we have. So I'm going to leave. Actually, do we do this? Do we do this edit now? Oh my goodness, I'm touching things upside down. This is, I, I knew this was going to be challenging, but it's actually a little more challenging than I thought it would be to be upside down and sideways to get this. So I definitely don't want the piano in the chorus. So let's find our chorus section and remove this piano now. And because I've got this sectioned out, it's actually making it a lot easier to do this. So we'll just delete that 
And where's my next chorus? Uh, there's my chorus. That bit. We'll delete it out there. It might come back in this second chorus in the second part for something, but we'll leave it out for now. And it's coming in there for the second half of the final chorus, but I'll leave that for now. So we'll make those adjustments for the arrangement for now. And then we will come in and start working our magic with some of these strings. So we probably want, correct me if I'm wrong, but do we want to keep it very minimalist at the start here? So let's just play this back now that we don't have the drums and we just have the piano, guitar and vocal. And let's just take a listen to this intro and opening section and see, I might have the... What I'll do is I'll bring these strings here and I'll see, I'll just experiment. This is kind of what you do when you start arranging. I'll experiment as we play and just see if there's something we can find here. Let's hit play. And we'll go into our instrument here. The sound of your voice The feeling I've been here I've been here before If silence is golden Then why are you loud? Don't take all of my time We definitely need slightly different drums when they do kick in, but um, yeah, I didn't mind sort of when the verse is playing. Just as a bit of a pad. So let's just record this in and we can change up uh, the instrument later, but for now I'm just going to use this one, these strings to start it. So let's come back to the start here. So this is, this is where our verse comes in. So I'm going to record this in now. We'll hit record there. The smell of frustration. I did it too late. Undo. Uh, go back to our track view. Uh, where are we? So we need to come back. Let's just give ourselves a little bit more lead in here and hit record. The smell of frustration. And then we need to make sure that we're on the right note. So we're going to start on the C, which is going to be part of our A minor. So let's try this now. We'll hit the, the smell of frustration, the sound of your voice, the feeling I've been here, I've been here before. If silence is gone. So that's that's our idea there. I'm not convinced on this instrument in particular. I might even go to just the standard strings. But the beauty part of Ice Symphonic, if you haven't used this before, and I'm I'm in love with it at the moment because it's an inter app, not interapp audio. It's an audio unit extension. But look, it brings in MIDI. Look at down the bottom here. That's MIDI note information. It's not recording the audio, so I can edit this, and that is really handy. So I'm going to go with that for now. Let's have a look. I know some folks were talking about some horns and then the section that we thought horns were going to go in is the bridge so i need to zoom in and find the bridge uh where are we here's our bridge section so let's just take a bit of a listen to uh, this all before action speak louder to me So at the moment, it's just got the piano going, da, 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 da. So this is where I think, I think it was Storm Play said, why don't we get some horns involved? So why not a good opportunity to test out the horn section here in I Symphonic? So let's have a squiz. Uh, let's tap on our instrument list here. Oh, this is going to be tricky to see upside down. Uh, we're going to go and we're going to select 
as the dog shakes around here. So we've got horns and strings. I think I like, there's all brass one, all brass two. There's the trombone section. Why don't we see what all brass, I've tried all brass one. Let's try all brass two. So we've got a bit better attack with this instrument. Um, it's a little bit full on. Again, I'm going to use this just to get the idea down and then we can have a play with it because th again, this isn't going to be arranged in the next sort of 20 minutes entirely. This is for me to test some ideas and then for you folks to let me know what you think and what's going to work and what's not going to work in here. So where is my bridge? Let's take it to the bridge. We'll come back here a little bit and we'll hit the record button and we'll... I've heard this all before. Actions speak louder to me. <coughs> yeah, I didn't like that at all. But the idea is there, but I just need to. Yeah, so maybe it does something like that. Thank you for the comment, whoever that was. <laughs> um, yes. Yeah, okay. Let's give this a go. Uh, hit record again. I've heard this all before. Action speak louder to me. No, we need to change that. Something like that. I've heard this all before. Action speak louder to me. I don't mind that melody. I think it's a nice break. It's using a bit, yeah, yeah. The, the brass instrument doesn't sound right. Ian Skeggs just said, yeah, it, it doesn't sound like the right instrument. This will be good because this will be a, a bit of a test drive. I want to see if I can, if I can change this. Can I just bring the trombone section in, and this should edit it. Oh goodness. Yeah, that's probably not going to work any better. Uh, what do we do? Alt brass two. Hmm, there was another one here that I want liked the sound of. What about the cello and woodwinds? Doesn't sound like cello and woodwinds, but it sounds like something. Um, let's just go back. Take it back to just to the alt brass here. Now we'll go back to this because the beauty part is that we can actually change and edit this around. So let's just uh, play back the section where we brought our brass in, which is here. <laughs> Yeah, so if we wanted to, we could actually come in here and edit those notes that we got wrong. So let's just do a quick edit job here and have a play, um, uh, which is down here. We'll hit play. So we can move this note back up to here and play it again. That cough is annoying me. All right. So, yeah, I don't mind that. Um, it, it's definitely got potential there. Whether it's brass, whether it's maybe some woodwind. Like if you've got ideas of what instrument that should be, I don't... I kind of like the melody I was getting there as like a bit of a counter to what we have for the main melody of this song.
but yeah, not not quite there with the the actual sounds that we have. Um, I need to I need to learn more. I need to get more into it. It's probably what I Symphonic have done. <laughs> They've gone. Oh, we've given you some. In fact, my friend Jade said that. And she said, um, if you buy the pack, it comes with some instruments, and you're like, oh, these are really good. If only they had a blah, and then they're like, oh, buy this other pack, and you get a blah. So yes, I may have to explore that. It may end up costing me. Uh, the iSymphonic Symphonic is it's fifteen dollars forty ninety nine here in Australia. I think it must be nine ninety nine in the US uh, when you if you want to look to buy that. But as I mentioned, as far as orchestral instruments, it's the standard kind of the industry standard here for iOS, and you can use it with any of your DAWs, which makes it very cool. Alrighty. Uh, so we're having a few bandwidth issues here, which I'll just wait for to pick back up, hopefully. Uh, right. Let's go back to our track. Oh, we are in our track view. That's cool. I just had to wait for my uh, my bad upload speed to catch up. So sorry if you had a few dropouts just there. Uh, what have we got here? Add some strong orchestral percussion. We've already talked about that, but thank you. That's Garish D Official. Thanks to you. Sounds wonderful already. And yeah, and Ian Skegg said something uh, like a penny. Got to know when to stop. So this is the other question I have. Like I've, I've had all these ideas and I've got all these ideas, but do, do I need to actually continue with this or do I pull it back a bit and keep it sort of low key and keep it, um, keep it the way it is at the moment. So let me know that. So the other things we had a string section. So I think we probably need to do some more with the strings. We only really started there. So what I might do, I'll play through and I'm going to try some different strings, some more subtle strings, and let's sort of see if we can add some pads in with there. Uh, string with woodwind in the bridge. So maybe we complement that with some strings and complement the melody in the chorus with a French horn. Hmm. That was Storm Plays last time as well. So that could be something that we test out and give a go with this as well. Um, but yeah, I'm liking it so far in terms of the actual removing those drums. Less is more, and we need to build it up towards the end. And what I'm probably going to do is add a second acoustic guitar, just doing some strums. So maybe we'll try that in a moment as well. Uh, let's just listen to what we've got so far from the start here with these strings. And then we'll just check the brass section again and see what it's sounding like. The smell of frustration The sound of your voice The feeling I've been here I've been here before If silence is gold yeah, I think at that section we need sort of a second string doing a, well, like with a, a sort of harmony, like the da-da, so here. Like that. Um, and yeah, I'm not, I'm not convinced on these sounds either. Anyway, we are getting there and we're getting some good ideas. And this is what it's about. A little bit of trial and error, a bit of experimentation. Let's come back down here and see what these horns are sounding like now. Now that I've had a break from them and see if this melody line is going to work in the bridge. But I've heard this all before. Action speak louder to me. Yeah, I, I like that as, as an instrumental break. And then where it's going into from here is actually the next section. Let's, let's change this. So the next section is not going to have drums for the first half of our chorus. So let's, uh, we're going to have to split this, aren't we? Let's split this and just hear what this will sound like. Split. There you go. You're getting a little mini garage band editing lesson at the same time here. Uh, so between here and here, the end of our bridge and our cough. Don't spend all of your time thinking of what you did wrong. And you just throw in the towel. You'll find a way to belong. And don't waste all of your time thinking of what happened now. 
Yeah, that, this is where the strings are going to, like, and I think it was Ian that said before, yeah, it's like a painting. You need to know where to limit it and where to, and, and to, to uh, get differentiation in like the second verse and the second and third vital chorus. You need to have less in the start. If you just go nuts from the start, then it's not going to work. And I, I like to do these sort of little breakdowns here after a bridge and sort of coming into a final chorus because I think it adds contrast. And as opposed to most music these days, which is just the sausage waveform that I often talk about, where it's going to be all the same all the way through, I like to have something like this where you've got a little bit of dynamic range and variation. Why don't we play around a bit with some strings here? Let's not overlook the garage band strings because sometimes they can actually do all right. So let's come in here to our string section. We'll go to, uh, we'll put the modern sound on these ones. It'll give a bit of a ballad sound. So we've got, at the moment, we've got all of them. <coughs> Excuse me. So I'm just thinking for this final chorus. Da, da. So yeah, like... Da. Helps if you play the right notes. All right, let's just try something here because I kind of like the idea of bringing this in. Now, where are we in our in our song? We need to be here at the final chorus. Um, well, we've opened up all the things. All right. So there's our sort of vacant part without our drums. And let's bring it in. And I'll try and I'll try and just add some big strings here at the end and just see what this is going to sound like. And hopefully I get the, the right chords. <laughs> all right. I need a producer here that can press all the buttons while I'm doing this. But I've only, it's only me and the dog, so it's not going to work. And you just throw in the towel. You'll find a way to below. Build, 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 and then. And don't waste all of your time thinking of what happened now. Just live one day at a time. That's all the time will allow for you. Something like that. All right, this is good. I'm getting some really good ideas, but I'm conscious that I'm just playing around now. And I know that there's there's fun and there's good things in that, but I'm not going to spend a lot of time just, uh, yeah, just experimenting on the fly. But what we're going to do now is I'm going to jump back in, have one more quick chat with the folks that are here live and thank them for their time. If you watch on the replay, yes, if you have ideas for this track, if there's things that you'd like me to try and do, the next video I will not do live because I will actually show you the arrangements that I'm doing here and I will, uh, yeah, I will actually do an edited version so you're not watching me just fiddle around all the time. Anyway, let me bring the angle back up here. I'll put my keyboard, my typing keyboard back down here. We'll bring things back up here. Dum, 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 dum. Alrighty. And we will finish off here by seeing what we've got. Uh, alrighty. Thank you. So the, uh, do, do, do. Jose Flores, welcome to you. Keep rocking Pete. Sounds good. Thank you. Um, and yeah, uh, do, 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 two octaves up with less notes. Yeah, two octaves up. So yeah, that, that's the thing. I've probably got too much mid-range, which is a really good point there, Ian. Um, I probably need to actually bring it up on the, the keyboard and have some more. This is where maybe some woodwind, like something like a flute or something in there. Yeah, I'm going to have to tr play around with this. Tonight is going to be spent... Uh, Working out where to, where to stop and if I put more of this in or whether less is in fact more and we focus on that. Uh, Kenneth Briggs, sounds good. Thank you. Thank you for that. Uh, appreciate it. So there you go. This has been, been a lot of fun. Uh, it's been experimental and I do appreciate uh, those that joined me here. If you got some value out of this or if you were entertained or you thought it was uh, a bit fun, then if you can hit the like button, that will let me know I should do more of this. Uh, if you don't, it means I should do less of this. That's totally cool too. But uh, yeah, let's just quickly summarize here. I 
I've got my song uh, close to completed here, working on the arrangement. We're looking to add in some, maybe some strings, maybe some horns, some brass, maybe some woodwind, but we also don't want to go and do too much stuff here as well. So why don't I play us out here by playing through the rest of this song um, from the start. Uh, here we go. And say thank you very much. Storm Plays, Game Brow, Kenneth Briggs, Ian Skeggs, Jose Flores, John Imperali, uh, Game Brow, like I said, Jesus, Ramos Valencia, Mr. Minnow. Thanks to everyone who's been here. Cheers. Take care. The smell of frustration, the sound of your voice, the feeling I've been here. I've been here before If silence is golden Then why are you loud? Don't take all of my time I don't have much left for you There is something so missing there in the chorus, isn't there? Need no piano, but I need another complimentary I instrument Maybe another a lead guitar? Possibly. Let me know what you think. I know that you're hurting. I hear what you say. We've been down this road. Others hurt too Don't take all of my time I don't have much left for you So don't take all of my time I don't have much of it left For you say try it this time Things will be better, you'll see But I've heard this all before Actions speak louder to me Change this up to horns and strings. Let's see what it sounds like. That kind of sounds better. It's a little bit softer, not bad. you did wrong and you'd just throw in the towel you'll find a way to belong and don't waste all of your time thinking of what happened now just live one day at a time that's all the time will allow still need an ending because <laughs> that's not a good ending <laughs> but this is thanks folks i'll see you next time <laughs>